In 2009, the Philippines was devastated by Tropical Storm Kitsana, more locally known as Ondoy. Ondoy destroyed more than 11 billion pesos worth of infrastructure and agricultural property and killed almost 500 Filipinos, submerging Metro Manila and Central Luzon in water in a matter of hours. Barely a week later, Typhoon Pepe shocked the country with its strong winds. Tropical Storm Santi completed the triple disaster combination within just over a month. Beyond relief and rescue operations, early recovery initiatives were very much needed in the transition to longer-term recovery and development. Early recovery is, is very much a process uh, by which we try to um, help communities and institutions regain their capacity to provide services after they went through a major disaster. It's this time period between humanitarian assistance, when the objective is to really save lives, and when we are able to go back to a normal development process. With the help of various development partners, local governments in badly affected areas such as Marikina, Pasig, Tainta, Laguna, and Pangasinan embarked on early recovery initiatives to address the long-term needs of the people. Early recovery requires a set of immediate actions to help people get back on their feet and spur renewed efforts towards development. Soon after the disaster, early recovery involves cleaning up the resulting rubble and debris to ensure that canals and waterways are functional again. Our present efforts are concentrated on the plugging of our drainage system. And we hope to be able to complete this uh, plugging activity in three to four months now. Binuo po namin dito yung uh, BDCC, uh, Barangay Disaster Sovereign Council, na talagang nagsagawa ng mga declogging uh, ng mga kanal. We have invested uh, heavily on the purchase of uh, heavy equipment using our calamity fund. For example, the tobacco, the payloader, the bobcat, um, we have formed a 70-man team-up for the Linis Ilog, or the Linis Canal, and then we have divided it into several uh, waterways that we have. pag kasi natin yung, kainta, yung waterways ng Kainta, holistic yung approach. No? Hindi pwedeng patsi-patsi lang, hindi pwedeng uh, drainage lang ng isang subdivision. Pag sinabi kasi natin holistic yung approach, lahat aayusin natin. So, Kailangan palaparin ulit yung mga daang tubig, kailangan palalimin ulit. Nasa gayon, makaya niya yung mga iba pang darating na, na volume ng tubig na maaari pang dumating sa atin sa bayan ng Kainta. Early recovery means providing temporary shelters to evacuees and eventually relocating them to safer areas. Uh, these are the families that were badly affected because they lost their homes and uh, temporarily they stayed in uh, shelter boxes for almost a year. We are now uh, building around 300 uh, houses in order that uh, they will be removed in the area of uh, say danger zone in as much that uh, the housing project being initiated by the DSWD and uh, the National Red Cross is now ongoing so we are moving them to their new relocation site. Early recovery entails creating livelihood opportunities so that people may regain their means of living. Ito nga po, lubugo. Ang tagal ng bahaw ay tatlong buwan o mahigit. Nais uli yung mga peace pub, pinatan uli ho ng mga kawayan, tinahi yung mga lambat. 
terms of livelihood, uh, empowering our people, particularly the marginalized ones, with uh, uh, skills, knowledge, and values for jobs and employment are continuing. We have launched a Water Lily for Life project. Uh, the Water Lily as a resource material can be used as bags, dress, shoes, wallet, and any other air and any other things. So two prong. One is that the local government uplifts the lives of uh, our constituents. And secondly, they also help in cleaning the environment because Water Lily obstructs the free flow of water. Early recovery is about helping people become better prepared for future disasters. Nagkandak na kami ng mga series of search and rescue operation courses wherein less than 100 ng mga tao namin ay nag-train doon. Importante sa amin na ma-advise ng mga tao na bakit nagkaroon ng mga baha. Ang awareness ng mga kapulisan natin ngayon ay maganda na ngayon tungkol sa pag may mga calamities na ganyan. Yung pong aming mga labindalawa na mga tao na pinag-seminar namin sa Barangay Disaster Action Team. Dumagawa kami ng massive tree planting to restore yung mga namamatay na puno, nabubuwal na puno. Nag-introduce tayo ng ordinance sa banning the plastic switches. Recently, nagtitik effect na po yun. At saka, we have intensified the anti-smoke building operations within the passing city. We are now in the process of installing uh, alarm systems. These include uh, CCTV camera, flood monitoring devices, and uh, siren, and rehabilitating the uh, damaged uh, facilities. We are again tapping institutions like the uh, United, the UNDP, uh, in order to come up with a disaster risk reduction management program, strengthening the trainings in order to uh, increase the capability of our city. Unfortunately, the Philippines, because of its geographic location, is going to continuously be hit by natural disasters. So the work of UNDP in providing support to the Philippines is really to make sure that early recovery is fully understood by all the stakeholders and that tools, policies, but also experiences and capacities so that there is a roadmap, there is an understanding of who does what and when, so that services can be restored as quickly as possible and therefore the communities are less hindered by the natural disasters. UODP is committed to help people build back better. Better prepared, better structured, better served, better equipped to pursue long-term development.